today with my summer beauty essentials video. This is following on from my summer wardrobe essentials video which I filmed a couple of weeks back and it's basically the same concept, I'm just going to be looking at the beauty products I've been loving this summer. Now I realise we are nearing the end of summer now so I feel that I'm a little bit late in the game doing this video but it's still hot outside so I don't see any harm in talking about the products that I'm still loving. In my last video I mentioned that I was going away on holiday and now I'm back from that holiday hopefully looking a little bit more tanned and the pictures from that holiday are on our written blog and that's whatwewear.com they're split into four posts and they basically just show off where we were, we went to Greece um, and my outfits which is probably what people want to see so if you want to see those then they're on whatwewear.com but if not let's just get on with the video before I start, I just want to say that I'm going to keep the reviews quite short and sweet. I'm going to try to because I always ramble and I want to get through them as quick as possible because I've got a load of products to talk about. So I'll start with makeup, let's see how I go. So um, the first thing is this Kiko bronzer. Now my friend got this for me and I wasn't sure whether it was going to be any good because I'm addicted to my NARS Laguna bronzer. So I thought, hmm, is this one going to be decent or not? But it's my favourite makeup product of the summer, definitely, hands down. So it's like a baked looking bronzer, if I open the compact. And it comes in this ginormous compact. It's, it's so nice and big, and that's one of the things I love about it. It's really good to carry in your handbag because the mirror is a decent size. And then for the actual product itself, it's really, really highly pigmented. So you have to be kind of using it sparingly. Um, but the colour is great, slightly on the orange side. So as I say, you have to like keep the product down to a minimum on your face. But um, it's really long lasting. The colour looks great. It gives you a really like nice glowing complexion. And it's only £7. For a bronzer of this size, I cannot really believe that it's £7. I think it looks a lot more expensive than that, being in this kind of gold limited edition packaging and I will definitely repurchase it but I can't even see it running out because it is so big so um, I think everyone should be buying one of these bronzers because they are incredible. My next summer essential is a highlighter and it is Sunbeam by Benefit. I am such a fan of Benefit and I love their highlighters, I love um, High Beam in particular, I think it's a great highlighter. But that's quite light for summer and so I thought I'd pick up Sunbeam because I'd heard really good reviews about it. And I just love it. If you want a highlighter that is um, kind of golden and bronzy for the top of your cheekbones, I think it's the nicest thing and it looks great with a tan. I wore this every day on holiday in the evenings and I just thought it was brilliant. I don't know how much this is, I'm going to guess it's around £17, usually they are around that price. Um, but it's worth it because it's basically a summer highlighter, that's how I put it. So I'd recommend that, that's Benefit Sunbeam. So next up is skincare and there are three products that I feel have really stood out this summer. And the first one is the Origins Checks and Balances cleanser, it's the frothy face wash but it's a cleanser. Um, I went into Origins with the kind of idea that I would buy the zero oil cleanser because I am oily skinned and I thought it would be really good to kind of keep my skin clear and less oily. Um, but I had a skin consultation in there and she kind of looked at my skin and had a feel of it and she said well actually there's some areas that are slightly drier so you're more kind of combination to oily skin. So what Checks and Balances does is it kind of eliminates the oil but then also kind of helps the dry areas so that's why it kind of is brilliant because it's not just kind of drying your skin out, it still keeps it nice and moisturised um, and at the same time controls, controls your oil on your skin. Um, I love the smell of it, it's got a really kind of minty fresh smell and I said to the lady that I like my skin to feel squeaky clean once I've cleansed it and this is the finish you get, you literally wash the product off and you wouldn't know it's been there, like it's so, so nice and refreshing. So I absolutely love that. If you are looking into getting into Origins products, when you go in there, as I said, you can have a skin consultation and she gives you kind of a full 
almost like a prescription of what you should get for your skin. So she said all the products that would help and ticked them off. So if I ever want to go back and buy the whole range, then it's all written down for me. And I think I got a free facial as well. So it's worth going in and um, having a chat to one of the people on the counter. My next summer skincare favourite is by Good Things Skincare and it's their Miracle Mattifier Moisturiser. What a mouthful that is. Um, this is basically what it says. It's a moisturiser that keeps the skin matte and stops your skin from producing too much extra oil. So I love to moisturise my skin a lot. I want my skin to kind of look fresh and healthy and feel moisturised but at the same time I hate my skin feeling like it has excess oil on it. So if you're oily skinned and you need something that's going to control your oil but moisturise, this is great. What I love about it is it is free from a lot of nasty ingredients, that's why it's called Good Things. So the brand is really big on keeping away from things like mineral, mineral oils and animal products and all sorts of things. Yeah, it's not got parabens in suitable for vegetarians and vegans so that's also very useful so um, I love this moisturiser, I've loved it for so long and it's got a gorgeous fruity smell so that's my summer favourite. Next up is my kind of body essentials so the first is the Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser Skin Conditioner. I know this has been hyped about especially recently so I won't go on about it but if you don't know, it's basically an in-shower moisturiser. So you wash your hair, you wash everything, and then you kind of turn the shower off, put all of this into your skin like a normal moisturiser, but afterwards you rinse it. So I like the idea of this because moisturising is something that I can't be bothered to do all the time. So this is easy, it's something I remember to do when I'm in the shower, um, and it's actually quite good. This one's for dry skin, I wouldn't recommend the one that's for normal skin because this one is, you know, it, it's moisturising but it's not overly moisturising, it's just something to help keep your skin moisturised. But I love this because it's what I call a lazy moisturiser. So um, I'm loving this at the moment and I'm kind of going through it quite rapidly. So that's my next kind of summer essential. Before I went away on holiday I was getting back into putting fake tan on because I was feeling quite kind of pasty and wanted to look a bit more kind of glowy and fresh. So um, we were lucky enough to get sent some fake tan foam from a company called Fresh Indulgence and this is their indulgent tanning foam in the shade medium. And what we loved about this company was that the fake tan is organic and 100% paraben free, which I hadn't heard of before. Maybe I'm just like, you know, not really like up with the fake tans, but um, this product is great. It doesn't smell, it doesn't have that kind of biscuity fake tan smell, it has kind of, su of a subtle smell. Um, it goes on very nicely, it's not streaky, it's easy to apply. It's very similar to kind of the Saint Tropez foam that I've used before, but it's a bit cheaper and again, as I said, it's organic, so it's nice to be putting nice things on your skin rather than a load of chemicals. So my tan is slowly fading, so I'm going to start to put this back onto my skin and I've been loving this at the moment. So the next self-tanning product is the L'Oreal Express Pro Facial Self-Tanning Dry Mist. That product title is so long, but um, this is basically a mist that you spray on your face and it develops into kind of a nice looking tan, it gives your face a glow. I have the um, body version of this and I do not like it, I find it really streaky um, and hard to apply because it's got no tint in it, so you can't see kind of where you've applied the product. But on the face I think it's easy, I kind of apply it in downward strips like, like this that's how I describe it and um, I do it before I go to bed and the next day rinse it off and I'm left with kind of like a more tanned face. I need this kind of product on my skin because my face never matches the tan on my body so um, this kind of product is good for me because with most people your tan on your face usually goes from when you cleanse and everything so um, I love this and I'd recommend it so yeah by L'Oreal. So for my final summer beauty essentials, I've got a perfume and it's Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. I love this perfume. It literally smells like 
sunshine in a bottle, it's like holidays in a bottle, it's everything. It's got a really coconutty smell um, and it also smells a bit like sun cream, if that makes sense. Um, but it is the kind of summer essential perfume that I've used because I've worn it non-stop and it's got a really fresh summery smell and I, that's all I can really say about it, it's, it's really good. So that's it for my summer beauty essentials. Hopefully I've not rambled on for too long. I'm really hoping I haven't, but I probably have. Um, if you have any requests, then please write them down below and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.